today we're going to learn about key sequencing detection. And that means when someone inputs a certain sequence of keys into your window or into an input or something like that, then something needs to happen. And what this is used most for online is the Konami code, which is if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you'll know that you can type in up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. And what that will do is it will trigger like uh, unlimited lives in Mario or something like that. So I figured out that BuzzFeed of all websites has a Konami code. If you go to the website and press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, enter. And it just changes all the words to Wilkie. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, but uh, it's, it's pretty funny. Different websites have little uh, Easter eggs that you can... Uh, surface. So let's see how that works. We'll go into our script tag and we will listen for the window .add event listener. We're going to listen for the key up event. And when that happens, we are going to run a function here, which we're going to go into console.log event.key. And that's going to tell us the name of the key that they have pressed. So if I press up, it's arrow up, if I down, arrow down, A, S, D, F. You get the point right here. So now what we need to do is whenever someone presses one of these items, we're going to push it into an array. So we're going to first make a pressed array. And then we also need to look, what is it that we're looking for? So okay, const secret code equals, and in our case, I'm just gonna look for the word West Boss. Now we go into here and we'll say pressed.push e.key, and let's just console log press. All right, so see what's happening. Whenever I type something, we get the specific key, whatever is pressed into that array. Now that's great and it makes sense, but that could get fairly big and that is essentially a key logger where you're logging everything the person has logged. So what we wanna do is just trim this array to be the maximum that we would ever need. And in our case, if we're just looking for the word West Boss, then we are maximum looking for six characters. So it's going to splice that real quickly. We're going to say pressed.splice. Now we want to start from counting from the back because if I, let me refresh this. So I say West Boss, well, I guess I got to type it up here. West Boss is cool. If I want to grab, like, say, like I'm looking for is cool, what we want to do is we want to start from the end and go into uh, forward. We don't want to start from the start and, and go in. So the way that we do that is we use negative secret code dot length minus one. And that's going to, if I'm looking for six letters, that's going to go to the, from the back up seven letters. And then we're going to trim from there, which is going to be the pressed dot length, which is the length of the array minus the secret code dot length. And that will give us the exact number that we need. So now if I refresh and we say Wes is cool, you see, as I start to get over that budget of six letters, it starts to push out the first ones that were pushed. So I could keep typing Wes boss. At that point, it says Wes boss. But if I type I, the W gets pushed out into the array. Now all that's left is we need to check if this array contains the secret code that we are looking for. So we'll say if pressed.join is that we want to turn it into a string really quickly. And that's I'll show you what that does. That will make it into a string. So if press.join, which is a string, dot includes the secret code, then we can do things like console log ding ding. You did it. So I W E S B O S. And there we go. Ding, ding. It includes what we're looking for. And at that point we can do some fun stuff. Um, so way back, there was this thing called cornify JS and uh, I'll show you what it does. There is a function called cornify underscore add. And when you run it was boss, woo, it adds unicorns or rainbows or random stuff to the screen. So if I do it again, it's going to add another one another one, another one, another one. You get the point, right? We're just adding hilarious different unicorns at random. And all you have to do is call this quantify add. So that's it. That's the basics of getting up a key sequencing detection, store them in array, and then check every single time that they key up if it matches what you're looking for.